Hello everyone and welcome to today's live stream with Chemistry Core. We want to reach out to chemistry students everywhere with demonstrations of solutions to chemistry exam questions. The question for today is, write a balanced chemical equation for the combustion reaction of an alkane with eight carbon atoms. Well, we want to start with the term alkane. An alkane is a compound that belongs to the group of organic compounds or the homologous series uh, with the general formula CnH2n plus 2, where n represents the amount of carbon atoms. We are told in the question that the number of carbon atoms is 8. So the formula for the compound is C8. H, and that's 2 times 8, which is 16 plus 2, that's 18. And combustion reactions involve oxygen. So plus oxygen, the only other reactant in the reaction. And there will be two products, carbon dioxide and water. So CO2 and H2O. Now, all of these compounds, both on the reactant side and the product side, will be gases since the condition under which they are reacting is in heat. But under normal conditions, both oxygen and carbon dioxide would be gases. But today we'll have water in the form of steam and we'll also have octane being a gas. So I follow three steps when writing the balanced chemical equation for combustion reactions of hydrocarbons. That is, I start by balancing the carbon atoms in the equation, then I balance the hydrogen atoms in the equation, and finally the oxygen atoms. So let's start with the carbon atoms. We know that these small numbers in the subscript position on the right of each element represents the number of atoms of that element that's in a compound. And when we balance a chemical equation, we do not alter these numbers. Instead, we add coefficients if necessary. So, we have eight carbon atoms on the left-hand side. We have only one on the right, so we need to add an eight here. Now, this eight affects the amount of oxygen atoms because um, it, the, the coefficient multiplies all of the atoms in the compound. But we'll get to oxygen last. Next, we need to balance the hydrogen um, atoms in the chemical equation. We have 18 on the left-hand side and we have only two on the right. We need to write a coefficient here uh, that when multiplied by two gives us 18 and you rightly said it, that is nine. All right, so now we have balanced the carbon atoms and the hydrogen atoms. It's time for the last one, the oxygen atoms. We have on the right hand side 9 plus 8 times 2, 16, 9 and 16, 25. Now if we put 25 here, that will not be correct because this 2 will be multiplying any coefficient that we put in front of the oxygen. So we can put um, 12 and a half, but we don't normally write fractions. However, we we'll break the rule now and write a fraction, and that is 25 divided by 2. Now, to get rid of this fraction, what we can do is multiply all the coefficients by this denominator, 2, to get rid of this fraction right here. And so, multiplying everything by 2 will give us, and we re let's rewrite the equation, 2 octane molecules plus 
25 oxygen molecules producing 16 carbon dioxide molecules and 18 water molecules. Thank you for joining us today on our live stream and I'll see you next time.